Hi, I'm Brandon Grant, Sales and Marketing Director here at QuiltWorks. In this video, we're going to demonstrate the integration between HubSpot CRM and QuiltWorks. There's a couple items we wanted to mention before we begin. First, this video will walk through using the integration with HubSpot CRM. For instructions on setting up the integration, please refer to the setting up the QuiltWorks integration with HubSpot CRM video or review chapter nine in the QuiltWorks help file. Additionally, the HubSpot CRM integration is available in the professional and corporate editions of QuiltWorks only. Okay, let's get started. So to get started, we wanna click on the Sold to Ship to tab in QuiltWorks and click on the magnifying glass. This will bring up the search for contact window and will allow us to search for contacts in HubSpot CRM to bring into QuiltWorks. We can search by name, phone number, company name, company phone, first name, last name, and contact phone. For our example, we're just gonna go ahead and search by name, and I'm gonna type it in Aspire, and you can either click enter on your keyboard or click on the magnifying glass to begin your search. You'll see all the results returned in the search window, and make your selection. You can either double click on the specific account or contact, or you can use the sold to, ship to, and bill to buttons to pull this contact in. Since we want to populate all three fields with the same contact, we're simply going to click all. And that will populate the sold to ship to fields with my contacts information. The most important contact information on your document is going to be the sold to. Who you select here is going to be who we are going to create the HubSpot CRM deal for. So you want to make sure that this is the primary contact that's going to be receiving the document that you're creating. And also it's the contact and account you want to create the deal for in HubSpot CRM. So everything looks good. Let's go ahead and move over to our document items tab to start building our quote. In QuoteWorks, we have the ability to organize our document into different sections using section headers. So in my document section area here, if I right click, you'll see there's an option that says insert section header. And this is gonna provide just a simple organizational tool for QuoteWorks. So for example, if I wanted to break out my document into sections for products, and we'll do one for services. And we'll right click again and we'll select one more for optional items. I can do that. Once you've figured out how you'd like to organize your document, we can start adding items to the document. To add items to your document in QuoteWorks, very simple, click on your products icon. This will open up the product lookup window. If you've linked HubSpot CRM to QuoteWorks, you'll be able to search HubSpot CRM for any items in your HubSpot CRM database. You can search by the description of the item or specific part number. So for example, if I wanted to find an item that contains the words trip light, I can enter those in, click enter or find, and my search results will be displayed. To add an item to the document, simply highlight it and click select add. This will open up the Add Item Assistant. The Add Item Assistant allows you to make some adjustments to this particular item before you add it to the document, such as adjusting the quantity, adjusting the price, checking price history for this particular customer that we have selected. So if you've ever sold it to them previously, you can actually see what you sold it to them for and the cost and the modifier. We can also see if we've ever sold this to any customer before, you'll see that information here as well. Once you make your selection, we can then use the drop down menu here to add this item in the exact section that we would like. In this case, our product section, and we'll click add, and that item will be added to our document. If we go back over to QuoteWorks, you'll see it's now been added under my products section. So if we go back into our product lookup window, we can add more items from the HubSpot CRM database, or you can select items from a different database. So if you have other databases you're working with, if you're using our Eatalyze subscription, or if you've set up other databases to integrate with QuoteWorks, you can select those items. For our example, I'm just going to go ahead and select these here and add them to the document. So we'll close out of our product lookup window, and now we can use the drag and drop functionality in QuoteWorks to move items around our document. So for example, if I wanted to take our service items here and we'll go ahead and we'll drag and drop them under our services section and then we'll take a couple of our products, move them under our products section and then we'll have, we have our optional items and we'll delete this extra line. 
So very easily was able to maneuver my items around and get everything in the correct sections in my document. So now we want to save our document in QuoteWorks. The save is obviously going to save your document in QuoteWorks, but this is also what's going to trigger the next part of the integration with HubSpot CRM. So if we click on save, so we'll bring up the save quote as window. This is where you can provide your document name, the document number will be assigned, the status of the document, and the project number. This is also where you're going to be able to create or attach to that HubSpot CRM deal. In order to use this integration, you do have to make sure you have the checkboxes set for Coworks to create or update that HubSpot CRM deal. So let's go ahead and click OK. That'll save our document in QuoteWorks, and then it'll prompt us to create or attach to a new HubSpot deal. So the default will be to create a new HubSpot deal. However, if you've already created the deal in HubSpot and you'd like to link this document to that particular HubSpot deal, you can do so. However, just be aware that if you link to an existing HubSpot deal, QuoteWorks will automatically take ownership of it and wipe it with the information and repopulate with the information that's in your document. For our example, we're gonna go ahead and create a brand new deal. This is going to be the name of our deal, which will match our document name in QuoteWorks and also have the document number associated with it. This is our owner and the stage. So if we wanted to say quoted, type his new business and closing date, we'll say end of March. And then if you'd like to add any notes in here, you can do as well. Have demo scheduled for next Wednesday. Once you've made all your adjustments and changes to the deal, simply click OK and QuoteWorks will create that deal in HubSpot CRM. If you need to attach any additional documentation, if you want to include an RFP or an RFQ that the customer sent over or any additional files, you can attach those here by dragging and dropping them or clicking on the Add Files button. And this will allow QuoteWorks to attach those additional documents into your HubSpot CRM deal. Let's go ahead and click OK. And this will begin the process of creating the deal in HubSpot CRM. And once it completes, QuoteWorks will actually create a link to that deal directly in QuoteWorks. So in QuoteWorks, if you click on your links tab, you'll see we now have direct links to the HubSpot CRM contact and the HubSpot CRM deal. This makes it really easy to move between both systems. So if you need to view this deal in HubSpot CRM, which we wanna do, simply click on the deal and that will launch HubSpot. And it'll bring you right to your deal that you've just created. So you'll see our information here. We have our suspected close date, our stage that we're in, about the deal information, and then we'll also have our line item information is written into the deal as well. So all the items that we have in QuoteWorks are available in the HubSpot CRM deal also. If you scroll further down in the deal, you'll see the attachments. If we had included any additional attachments to the deal, those would be displayed in here as well. But you'll also see there's a QuoteWorks document attached here. This is a nice little shortcut back to QuoteWorks. So if I click on this option, this will actually allow you to open up this deal in QuoteWorks without having to launch QuoteWorks first. So if we go back into QuoteWorks, everything looks good. We're ready to send our document to the client. So we'll click on our deliver icon here. We'll select our cover page that we'd like to use. So for our example, we're gonna use our Galaxy cover page, select our layout and our solution summary, include our literature documentation. Literature documentation is typically your terms and conditions, about us information, anything that you'd like to include with this quota proposal, you can select it from your literature tab. And we're gonna go ahead and just reorganize this a bit so we have everything in the right order that we'd like. And then we're gonna upload it to Quote Valet. From here, we can view the PDF file before we send it out to the customer, set any reminder options, and then finally set our customer facing document. So we wanna go ahead and choose upload there. And then we can preview it before we send it to the customer. So we'll scroll down. Everything looks good. So we're ready to send this document out to our customer. So we'll click send email. That will open up our send email window in QuoteWorks. And we'll have a link to our quote. And then when we're ready to send, simply click send, and then we can send this link to our document to our customer. Once you've emailed the quote to your customer, we can go ahead and close out of these windows and be brought to the quote. If once you've sent out the document to your client, if they request any changes to the document, maybe they say they need 
three of these instead and two of these. We can make that change and then if you click on save in QuoteWorks, this will bring up the save quote window and you'll see now instead of creating a new deal in HubSpot CRM, we're actually going to update the existing deal. So we're gonna go ahead and click okay. And this will bring up our existing HubSpot deal. And then it's just simply gonna refresh it with anything that's changed. So any of the items have changed, any of the descriptions have changed, anything like that, pricing, quantities, anything like that, that information will all update in HubSpot CRM now. Once the customer is ready to move forward, you can simply have them sign off on it in Quote Ballet, or you can click on File, Convert to Order in QuoteWorks. This will convert the QuoteWorks quote from a quote to an order, and we'll click OK. And at the same time, this will update your HubSpot CRM deal as one in HubSpot. And the Close HubSpot deal as one window will open. This will automatically set the stage as one. You can add any new notes, change the type or anything else that you'd like. Your closing date will also be set to today's date. And then you can simply click OK. And this will update HubSpot CRM with the information from the document. So if anything has changed from the client side of things, it will now be updated in HubSpot CRM as one with the updated information. And if we go back to our links tab here, we can click on view deal in HubSpot CRM. We'll refresh the existing deal and we'll see that the deal has been closed as of today's date and set as closed one as well. And then you can follow your normal processes for processing this order. So that's it. It's that easy to use QuoteWorks to create and update deals in HubSpot CRM, select contacts, and have all of your important sales information flow between QuoteWorks and HubSpot CRM. For more information or if you have any additional questions, feel free to give us a call or send us an email. Thanks for watching.